this is Jill Simonello with Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and today I am actually in Illinois, but in the suburbs, and I am driving the Toyota Crown. So on my right, I have a platinum trim. On my left, I have a limited trim. And what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm just gonna walk you through some of the differences. So let's take a closer look right now. So we have a platinum and a limited version lined up here, and I figured we would just take a quick look at some of the exterior differences. So the first thing that you're going to notice is the wheels. So the platinum model, which is this white one here, has standard 21 inch wheels and a different wheel cover. And then over here you have standard 19 inch wheels on the limited trim. But as you look at the vehicles, you're really not going to notice too much of an exterior difference. But I will say um, on the platinum trim, you do have an available hood stripe um, where like the hood, actually the whole hood is black and then it just kind of goes over the top. And that is not available on the lower trims. Coming down the side, again, really not going to see a huge amount of difference. But once you go to the back, you're gonna see some hybrid max badging over here where you just see the regular um, like all wheel drive non hybrid badging, even though this is also a hybrid, there is no hybrid badging on it. Um, but they have different powertrains. So this is the hybrid max powertrain in the platinum trim which gives you more horsepower, a six speed um, automatic transmission. You're gonna get an ele electronic variable transmission in the regular hybrid. This is the fifth generation hybrid powertrain that is just in the non-platinum versions, whereas this is something special and different. So the platinum trim starts with a 2.4 liter turbocharged engine that delivers 340 horsepower and you will get 30 miles per gallon in combined driving. So they've really prioritized performance here over fuel efficiency, but you still get the fuel efficiency as well. Now, when you come over to the limited trim, this is the 2.5 liter engine, um, non-turbo, but mated to, again, the fifth generation hybrid powertrain. And you're looking at 236 horsepower here, but they have prioritized efficiency with this engine, which means you're looking at about 41 miles per gallon in combined driving. Moving to the interior, I'm sitting in the platinum trim, but I'll be honest with you, you're really not going to see that much of a difference between the platinum and the XLE trims because they're pretty similarly equipped. You do have um, this gold trim on both that you will see. You have the digital display, you have this nice 12 inch screen, and um, you've got really, again, a similar look and feel to both vehicles from the leatherette seating surfaces to the amenities of the dual automatic climate controls, the heated and ventilated seats, the wireless charger that doesn't suck. I'm going to point that out. You have this really good vertical um, position with uh, prongy things that are gonna hold in phones of different sizes. And there's a cool pad here or cold air blowing on it. So your phone's not gonna overheat. Um, and yeah, the XLE, really looks pretty much exactly like this. <laughs> Where you're gonna see the difference is when you go into your drive modes. So let's see if it'll let me do it while I'm not actually driving. So you've got a Sport S mode, you've got a Sport S Plus mode, and then you can customize your drive, but you can go down into Eco and Comfort as well. Now the limited trim is just going to have your eco and your normal and then just a regular sport mode. It doesn't have sport S or sport S plus. Um, so it'll just have three modes where this gives you a little bit more functional um, change between the different drive modes. And again, that's done on purpose because this right here is supposed to be more of a sporty vehicle when you are looking at the platinum trim because of the hybrid max engine. To show you there really isn't that much of a difference between the platinum and limited trims, I've now come over into the limited model. So again, the same gold trimming, the same vertical wireless charging pad, the same leatherette seating surfaces. Um, yeah, 
really not that much of a difference. Both cars even have your memory adjust seat. So in terms of design and most of the content features, you're not gonna have too much of a difference. So yeah, I'll just scroll through the sport modes or the modes here so that you can see sport, normal, and eco. So that is going to be different, but really, the two vehicles in terms of trimmings are remarkably the same. All right, I did manage to get my hands on the sticker sheets for uh, both of these vehicles that we're looking at, and you can see the base price for the Limited is $45,550, and this black one that we were looking at didn't have any options. So with the destination fee, $46,645. Now, here is the stuff that comes standard with this. So those three drive modes, the base 2.5 liter engine, um, you've got standard safety sense, Toyota safety sense 3.0 model. Blind spot monitoring is standard on all trims of this vehicle, very much appreciated um, LED lights. You've got, like I said, that 12.3 inch display, JBL audio, and um, ooh, look at that. They're gonna deliver it to you with a full tank of gas. So that is for the limited trim. This is not the base trim, but the limited trim. It's kind of middle of the road for this model. Now, this is going to be the sticker sheet for your platinum trim. Base price, $52,350. Um, premium paint charge, but your as tested price is going to be $52,775, and this is the all-in model. So, yep, you've got that up-level 2.4-liter uh, turbocharged engine. You've got um, your safety sense again, duh, um, and 21-inch wheels, as we pointed out, are different. Heated leather steering wheel, so the other vehicle did not have a heated steering wheel, and then um, rear heated seats on that model. So that will also be a content difference between the Platinum and the Limited. All right, before I wrap this up, I do wanna give some very brief driving impressions, and I do mean brief because I've literally only been behind the wheel for about 20 minutes, and so I'm gonna save more detailed review um, when I get this as a test vehicle. But I've driven both the Platinum and the Limited trim. I've driven the base powertrain, the up-level hybrid max powertrain. And what I wanna say is winner, winner, chicken dinner goes to the hybrid max powertrain. It is quiet, it is fast, it is fun, it is zippy, it is fairly seamless. Now, the only thing I noticed was there was something kinky going on when I put the vehicle into reverse. There was like a loud idle sound, but I don't know if that, I mean, this has 72 miles on it. So I don't know if that's a break-in issue. I don't know if it's um, an issue specifically with this vehicle. I don't know. Um, I'll try to get some answers. But the Hybrid Max powertrain is amazing. Now, the base powertrain, hybrid, you know, tried and true Toyota 2.5 liter engine, also very, very good. Solid, solid choice, 41 miles per gallon. You can't go wrong with that. But if you're looking for something sporty and a little bit fun to drive, this Platinum trim with the, the Hybrid Max is totally it. Now, generally, I think the fit and finish is nice. The trimmings are a little bit, mm, I don't think this is quite luxury level material to me, um, but nice. I just want a little bit more, especially on the dash. Driving position is good and I feel comfortable. I'd have to take this on a longer to drive to see how comfortable I feel over you know, more time, 20 minutes, definitely not enough for that. Uh, but first impressions are favorable. And again, hybrid max powertrain for the win. All right, that's it. That is all I have for you today on the Toyota Crown. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check us out on the web at pickuptrucktalk.com and I will see you down the road.